Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel. I'm Jenny Coder, and today we have a pretty interesting topic. Also, I know a lot of you guys are working remote right now, and eventually, you guys, some of you guys will have to move to your work location, right? I recently went through that process, and I wanted to share my experience with you guys, right? So you guys can have a sneak peek of what to expect when uh, you guys finally decide to move to your work location, guys. So uh, whether you're just trying to figure out how the process looks like, this video is going to be useful to you guys as well. So without any further ado, guys, let's get into, let's get into the video. So, so yeah, guys, you know, um, most of you guys already know that I started working at uh, my current position uh, beginning of this year, guys. So when I started, they kind of asked me about, you know, what kind of relocation assistance that I wanted, right? I could have either went with the uh, lump sum package, right? A lump sum of money, right? Or it was cash, right? And, and or the full relocation package, right? Which did take care of... Um, the moving all your stuff for you, um, moving your whatever car you have, um, take care of um, pretty much hotels, rental cars, pretty much everything in between uh, you and your destination. Guys, they were gonna take care of everything for you guys, no out of expense pocket, right? Take up everything for you. So I kind of weighed out the two options that I had, and I figured out, you know, since uh, I was gonna move a lot of stuff, guys, right? And I was gonna move my family as well, right? It's gonna cost me a lot more, guys, to get the. Uh, if i was to get the lump sum right so i decided to go with the full relocation package guys so that was very very useful to, for me so yeah guys i ended up going with the relocation package right you know after i did that i got in contact with this lady right you know pretty much that's the uh person that really helped me throughout the whole process guy you know the whole process guy so she was the one that orchestrated everything for me you know the, the movers the car moving stuff right all of the uh, hotels and stuff like that everything in between Flights, she took care of all of that for me, guys. So you guys are probably gonna have someone similar when you guys just, um are doing that, right? And um, so we scheduled an initial call with each other, right? You know, she kind of went over the whole process, what I'm to expect, uh, like you know things that I can, the movers, like the people that are gonna come get my stuff, right? What you know, they're allowed to bring, right? You can't bring liquid for some reason, right? So she went over all those kind of items right and then uh, she asked me like well, when do i want the movers to come to my house right and pick up the stuff right and now uh, we scheduled schedule, schedule a day schedule a day for my car right we schedule all those things guys so everything went smoothly that first initial call so as for the moving part right um this the lady that i was working with gave me uh, a different contact to work with um uh, that worked for the moving company right so that was the person that's going to help me moving every single um stuff right item and stuff like that right in cars Right, so I got in contact with that person, guys, uh, and pretty much we had a phone call as well, right? And we kind of walked through, you know, pretty much what kind of stuff am I gonna be moving and stuff like that, you know, what kind of items and stuff like that. So she kind of told me everything that you know that was that I could bring and what I could not bring and what they're allowed to do and not do, and um, yeah, she kind of went over this stuff, guys. So it was pretty straightforward, pretty easy process, um, and um, yeah, so I scheduled the. Uh, for the, for the moving company to come like the following month right because that's when i decided to move right so uh so my flight was going to be so they were going to come on a friday right and my flight was going to be on a, a sunday so that, that was the whole process right so that day came along they came around guys and uh yeah there were i met the uh movers right they were very extremely friendly they were pretty nice right they took care of all of our items guys so they went and packed up every single items for us guys you know so we didn't we need to worry about a thing guys what i'm saying it was very 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 uh, easy process for us we just sat back and uh, watched them just do everything that do what they do pretty much right they took care of our items for us right so so they packed up everything and uh left right they packed them all of our items and left with it uh, and uh, we told them that okay thank you guys we will meet you guys in washington right so you guys could see the drive that they have to do all the way from florida to washington right guys so yeah it, it was crazy guys so pretty uh no complaint so so no complaints there right so while the moving people were packing up her stuff right putting it in boxes right the uh people that were supposed to bring my car to washington came around right uh they pretty much expected my car so that it was in good shape and uh yeah and they picked it up and started the process of moving it to washington guys since the moving people took everything right and started moving it to washington we had no bed no couch to sleep on so the point of contact that i told you guys about right which is the, the original one right uh 
booked us a hotel, right? You know, we ended up staying there for like a night or two, right? Because I told you guys, you know, the flight was on a Sunday and the movers, right? It came on a Friday, right? So we spent like Friday and Saturday there, right? So the day of the flight, guys, we ended up driving to the airport. We dropped off the car that we had, the rental car uh, that the lady had booked for us, right? So we dropped that off and uh, the flight was pretty much in the early afternoon, right? Uh, Eastern time zone, right? So it was two, right? So we left Florida around 2 p.m. right and then uh the flight was six hours long guys so um so it was pretty good guys so you guys will see an overlay you guys will see how it looks like right uh and then uh yeah so you'll be overlay if you guys to see right so the flight was six hours long guys so pretty much i was there no i, I slept uh for a majority of the time we you know, there was also like you know, some uh video some there were also like movies for us to watch so i watched a couple movies i slept uh so much it was a uh, pretty comfortable right so it wasn't like first class or anything it was an economy but you know i can't really complain it was pretty pretty nice for them to uh be able to do that for us right i'm saying can't complain. yeah so uh we landed in washington around five right so it was still early here right because they're three hours behind um the eastern time zone right so yeah, we landed there, guys, and it was extremely nice, right? You know, the airport was pretty nice. Um, so the lady had already booked a rental car for us, right? Because I told you guys, stuff were being in the process of being moved to Washington, right? That time, right? So I got my, so I got the rental car, right? And then we pretty much, you know, we drove to the temporary uh, location that they have for uh, temporary housing, right? That they have, right? So that that was a pretty nice experience, guys. So we drove there to to drove to the play it was pretty nice uh yeah so pretty much you just you'll see uh, it was like some kind of gated community guys so the place was extremely nice extremely really well done guys so we went there uh pretty much you know you have an option of either choosing uh they could either pay you uh get you a temporary housing or they could get you a, a temporary or it could it could pay your first month's rent right so either or you're pretty much don't have to worry about your first month's rent guys so yeah, you should save that money up, right? And then, um, yeah, so pretty good, man. Uh, pretty overall, very, very good experience. So we ended up staying there for about a month, right? Um, during that time, uh, we looked for places and stuff like that. We visit the city. Um, and uh, we ended up finding a place, thankfully. And uh, we um, told the moving people to uh, bring our stuff the day that we're, we're planning on moving into the new place, right? Which is where I'm at right now, you know what I'm saying? So we scheduled that day, right? And then the moving people they came uh and they unpacked everything for us and uh put everything that had to be put together the beds uh the couch any everything you know exactly how it was uh back in uh, florida guys so they took care of all of that for us guys we didn't need to do anything about that right that was very very nice of them right they were very very good so that experience was extremely well guys and then um so the car right also got delivered guys so we also got our cars and um yeah that pretty much is it, guys. Everything was set for us. We were good. Pretty much very, very good experience. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, guys. So, you guys can see the whole process was extremely simple for me, right? So, they pretty much took care of everything, guys. Organizing everything. Uh, paying for everything. You know what I'm saying? The movers, the car, everything's taken care of, right? So, that was extremely um, good on their part for to do that, right? So, yeah. Hopefully, you guys were able to, you know, see, like, how it's going to look like for you guys when you guys decide to move to your location right they pretty much operate the same way so it should be the same process what i'm saying so i want to thank you guys for watching the video if you guys found any value subscribe to the channel like and uh, comment what i'm saying and um yeah i'll see you guys in the next one